now that we have this configured, we have our unit here, we have our PLC, let's talk a little bit about and we'll add some of the pre-made function blocks that Siemens has created to allow the PLC to interface with the unit. So what we're going to do in the program of our PLC is we're going to add a new block to allow us to control this unit. And I'm just going to call this block PSU8600. And we're going to make this a function block. So what I've done here in the software is there's a library that Siemens has created with all these blocks that are pre-configured. All we need to do is pull the objects out of the block, put them into our program, and set a couple of settings for them. So let's open up this library that Siemens wrote. And within the library in our master copies folder, there's going to be some specific data types. And these data types are required, which sets the structure of how the information that we're going to be using to display on the screen and control the actual PSU8600 is interfaced within the program. So let's take these data types, drop them into our PLC. So we've added those data types here. And now there's some actual function blocks that we can use to actually interface with our program. We've got a couple of different things here. The first one is just a general function block that interfaces with the unit. What it does is it does some data exchange between the unit. The other thing we have is an output block. This allows us to control the different voltage levels, the current thresholds of the output, as well as to get some diagnostics about each particular output. We also have function blocks for our expansion modules and our buffer modules. And what that does is does some data exchange between the PLC and those expansion modules to allow us to get that information out. So for now, we're going to have our main unit. We drag this into our project. We assign it a name. And there's a couple of things that we need to configure here. First is going to be what our channels are, and then the specifics of the unit, which if you don't have Profinet, can be set using the dip switches on the unit. So we're going to set our different settings here. Let's drag our block to communicate with the unit. And finally, we're going to take our data structure and bring it over into the project. Now when we set up our different channels, all we need to do is take that data block that we brought over and add it to this data structure. And from here then we can assign the hardware IDs of the different, of the different modules within the channels. So we have our main hardware identification and then we have a hardware ID for each specific output. And from the PLC's perspective, this is really all we need to get all the diagnostics out of it. Now there will be some additional programming involved where you have to set up the actual voltage levels, but that's going to be up to each specific user.